Happy Tuesday morning, everybody. This is Professor Bauer welcoming you to a week of four, somewhat truncated, on enterprise architecture. This week we'll be doing uh, a, a bit of a drill down into uh, the TOGAF uh, structure and how they structure um, the problems and uh, how, how uh, TOGAF addresses them. So we'll be looking at applications and data in the information systems and um, pretty interesting stuff and we'll uh, continue to build toward our big project in uh, the Arch Assurance. Uh, so uh, please make sure you understand any of your comments from the first assignment. Um, uh, if it's formatting, make sure that your formatting uh, for the, the week six paper is tight. Um, that costs, it's worth a lot more, uh, so it costs a lot more, I guess, so keep that in mind. So um, your reading information systems this week, uh, more details on Arch Assurance. You know, you might want, since this is such a long assignment, it goes through the end of the, the term, um, you might want to get a notebook, uh, some paper, and just kind of keep your notes, your thoughts, the things you're going to validate and verify uh, along the way. Um, our discussions for Wednesday and the class for then as well. Okay, um, so here we are in the information systems side of things, and you'll see uh, from the architecture that there is uh, the various data entities, the conceptual diagram, the logical diagram, where the data goes in terms of how it's disseminated, think insurance, it's going to be used by people, um, you know, uh, paying claims, solving problems, adjusting fees, etc. And then all the different applications and interfaces, uh, how they are communicated, used, and um, the use case for them. This is a lot of artifacts that come from this phase. An art artifact, as we mentioned earlier, is excuse me. Um, an artifact is usually a document. So think about all the docs that are being genned in the TOGAF requirement and the outputs from these serve as inputs in other places. We'll look at that uh, later on. So um, application and data element, you're going to start working with TOGAF Arch Insurance to understand the relationship between what the vision of Arch Insurance is and how they're going to build a business layer and information systems uh, to reflect those goals. So what you need to do is say, okay, what is the information system? We've got these three companies and they're merging and what, what's happening and um, a, a few curveballs are going to come your way where we'll have to adjust uh, some of these objectives and then where are the inputs and outputs? And I will um, try to help you on that, all right? Relevant concepts that you need to understand for the case study, okay? This is, this is the part where most people say, there's nothing due this week, so I don't have to do anything, okay? And sometimes it works. I'm not, you know, I, I don't try to catch you uh, doing, you know, not doing your work. Um, on the other hand, the assignments will catch you uh, not having done your work. Um, as this is an incremental um, set of deliverables, the final steps of which are written documents, but you can't just start writing at the last, at the midnight hour. So keep that in mind. I'm not trying to lecture, just trying to help you succeed in this, okay? All right, so complete the readings and instructional, review the lecture material, get a good sense of TOGAF. You're, you're already living with this for a while. Um, make sure you're ready to, if we have time, to contribute to the two discussions. I want to make sure we understand TOGAF and the in information model. Um, and so you've got a uh, deliverable in week six, so see the next slides for details. This is kind of the, uh, the big picture for part, uh, the, the first big deliverable of Arch Insurance, but it's certainly not the last, okay? Here's the case study. The week, week three last week was to download the, the documents, the XML file, the software app. Uh, you've got all that working. Um, here are the links in case you don't have those. Get those. Remember, um, 
my G drive is a good place in case you get stuck. Uh, and so you can get those. No one should have had any problem um, getting these resources. And if you have, um, ask a friend, try these links, uh, get it done because you are already behind. Really not trying to lecture you, but yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> you are behind. All right. So week four, you're reviewing, you're studying, you're adding some confidence in your level of understanding because you're going to have to write out of that level of confidence. And I, I'll have some uh, help for, for you and I'll, I'll let you, I'll share that with you tomorrow night. Um, and then week five, we have to review some other elements the, in the, in the network layer and um, looking at more inputs from the information systems architecture. You're going to take um, and get ready modules three, four, and five and start working on the paper, which is due the end of week six. So that's the, the big picture. Um, and, and please um, be responsible on this, okay? It will creep up, especially in the summer. And uh, I hope none of you did any work this weekend and had good 4th of July, but um, we got to get back to school here. All right. Um, so here's the rubric. Get a plan for a four-week assignment. So this is worth 200 points. Um, and the, the next one is uh, the, you have a couple of hundred uh, incremental things. Then you have a 300 point, um, which, is a, uh, which is a portfolio quality assignment, something you could hand your real boss and not your teacher. Okay, so um, keep that in mind. All right, we'll, we'll work on what that is. Um, uh, we'll give you all the details to set you up for success. Okay, all right. Here are the online discussions. What what's the element? Uh, what are the elements of a target architecture, and how do you develop gap analysis? And um, we'll these are normally the things that people write on during the week, but we'll talk about them uh, tomorrow night. Okay, have a great week. Hope your uh, your weekend was fine, and look forward to uh, to seeing you tomorrow night. Bye bye now.